Hey guys, it's another installment of the one, the only Marco Luxury. Before we begin, a quick whist watch check. That's right, guys. I'm wearing my Hamilton Ventura. Should be a great, great stream tonight. I'm just going to post the link, the link for the Goodfellas to come on. The link for the Goodfellas to come on in the live stream. Looking forward to a great stream. This is, of course, Marco Luxury. And of course, we got a reminder from Bear Clooney to please upvote, please upvote. We got JJ Lacoot in the house. JJ, how's it going, man? What's up? What's up? What are we doing today? Rolex, <laughs> Rolex on the menu today. That's right. Rolex, <laughs> Rolex, and more Rolex. Just a reminder from Bear Clooney to thumbs up the video to make sure to like that video. And of okay. course, it wouldn't be much of a Marco luxury live stream without a little Bombay Sapphire and a little. Clipper for when we reach 1,000 bucks in donations. There you go. Uh, let's get Marco drunk and bald. <laughs> bald and drunk. There you go. There's no com combination just like it. So, of course, I'm just waiting for somebody to buy me a drink. And, of course, all the good fellas are welcome. I'm just going to post a link in the chat. The link in the chat. And there you are. So, JJ, how's it going tonight, man? Uh, pretty good. Same as yesterday. No new watches yet, unfortunately. But... We're getting there. What about you? Anything uh, on the menu? Anything upcoming? Uh, no, just the Explorer 1. Still waiting on the Explorer 1. February 8th, everything opens up. So Monday, I'm making a dash to downtown Montreal. And uh, hopefully, I will be able to uh, get that Explorer on the on the 8th. But I mean, no, no promises, right? Right. Let's take this time real quick to let everyone know they should also subscribe to Bear Clooney's channel. Uh, Tim's oh, yes. channel, Marco's channel. Yeah, we'll pull all of those up. We'll pull all of those up. We got already five euros from Alex Bain. Let's <laughs> let the countdown start. You guys got to keep keep track down in chat just to keep me in check. Oops. And we got ten bucks from Spencer. Have a drink on me. What are the SAQ prices like these days? Not too bad. I think this was like fifteen dollars or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it wasn't wasn't anything that bad. And then, of course, we got NATO. Have a drink, big boy. This time I did it the right way. You see, I didn't open the bottle, so nobody could complain that it's like a fake bottle or something. That's it. There you just cracked the top, guys. You saw it. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Quite a lot in there. Yeah. Should be a good one. Oh, boy. It's going to be a bad one, JJ. It is going to be bad. That's right. And if anybody else wants to come on, we could get Tim on. Just some gin and juice. Gin and juice again. Uh, this is this isn't gonna end well, I could see. Man, it is gonna be a good one. It is gonna be a good one. Oh, you even got the lizard lick down, guys. This is this is gonna be a disaster in the Marco meantime. Luxury to a T. There you go. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Get on. Uh, yeah, Nub Gunner wants to know if he could come on. Come on. Yeah, of course. Of course. Come on. While there's still space available, come on. No oh. problem at all. You're all welcome. So, JJ, let me know. You're looking to get the Paul Newman Daytona. You're looking to get also the, uh, the Kermit, right? Those are the two you're looking for? Right. And the Rupier GMT. Those, those, those three are all in the works. Um, and, and possibly a regular sub as well. Have a uh, quite a few in the works. Then I have to, you know, call the herd a little bit and see. Uh, but I think all of them have their own place. They're all um, different occasion watches. I mean, in all reality, the Kermit, you just it's something you just don't turn down. Mm. And I think it would be nice to have a a little a little something different than a standard sub. You know, so I'm gonna try. You know, can't hurt to try. Um, but I look forward, hopefully, to get that Paul Newman before it gets summertime here to get that rubber band on. There you go. We got a dollar thirty nine from Smoke Eater Super Sticker. Thanks for the donation, big boy. And we got Scott Green, five bucks. Is a forty one or thirty six mil Datejust that has better resale? Ooh, we got Lolex in the stream. Lolex, oh, in the stream. Lolex. what's going on, man? What up, Lolex? Jumping in. How's everybody doing today? How you doing, Marco? First time. All good. All is well, man. Should be a good one again. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully not too bad like last time. No, no, I'm gonna drink a lot less. That's for sure. That's for sure. Or try to at least. We'll see what happens. 
So Scott Green is asking, is a 41 or 36 mil day just better for resale? I would say 41 for the obvious reason, that being the bigger size. Of course. Uh, uh, you can't you can't really go wrong with the 41 day just pretty much every steel sports rolex is hot at the moment so i mean in terms of resale you'll easily get what you paid for it if you're getting the 41 mil typically typically got logan hall two dollars towards the haircut fund guys just be sure to keep is, is there somebody track. keeping track of this yeah sound? there needs to be somebody keeping track because i cannot keep track of these donations unfortunately so hopefully someone is uh, of course, keeping track. Oh, we got timwright.com. There you go. Tim, oh, got Mike GMT, get on plastic. Uh, plastic is actually out with the family tonight. So unfortunately, he can't be here tonight. But I'm sure he's going to be watching the VOD. So the VOD. So uh, hello, plastic. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you are doing right. well. We got we got the awesome folks. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's going on, man? Going on. Hey, uh, I actually... <laughs> So okay. I have a friend over. We just drank half a liter of beer. Ooh, look at that. Tim's drunk yeah. too now. This is great. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's good. Hey, don't just get me <laughs> drunk. You gotta get Tim drunk along with me, man. Wristwatch oh. check, guys. Sabi? Very nice. Let's check the camera if it's working. Um I don't jump. know how long I can stay today. Yeah. Because okay. what happens. Whoa. There we go. It's going in and out. There it is. Oh. I guess my camera is a little bit drunk as well. There you are. Yeah. Submariner. Just want to give a big shout out to a few channels. Of course, a few channels. Let's just open mm. up tabs over here. Let's go to first Ooh. and foremost, Bear Clooney Watches. Congratulations, Bear, on 10, passing 10,000 10, subscribers. subscribers. Absolutely. We got the Bear one gave me one some one. amazing advice. Showcase watches. Showcase watches. Make sure you're subscribed to him. If you're not, let's get him to 3K by the end of day if we can. Mm -hmm. We got, ooh, look at this. We got Doc. Hey, Doc. How's it going, man? Good. It's good, Don. You look quite younger <laughs> now. <laughs> Sound a little younger, too. There you go. We got 100 check dollars. I don't know what that converts to. Have you ever tried... Slivovitz plum brandy from East Europe's. If not, you should. Unfortunately, no, I haven't, but I'll take it under advisement. I'm sure that it is very good. So let's try and get showcase watches to 3,000 subscribers if we can. We got Tim Wright. Tim Wright, who is in the house right now, he's currently sitting at 827 subscribers. So if we could get his channel monetized tonight, get him to 1,000 subscribers, that would be pretty awesome. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you hit that notification bell right over here. Make sure that you get those notifications when he goes live. And then, of course, you, it wouldn't be a good live stream if I didn't go full sellout and promote it myself, <laughs> you know? You got to promote yourself as well. I don't do shit for free, you know? So I got Watch Cardinal. That's my my personal YouTube channel. Got 62 subscribers. Let's, uh, let's get those numbers up for all those channels, guys. Guys, and join my OnlyFans. No news, <laughs> but I'm just on there talking. We got John Galt, two bucks. Bigger punishment, shaved head, or camping with Tim. Oh, <laughs> I got to go with camping, especially in New York in the cold. Oh, boy. That is not fun. Right. Yeah, we, should not fun. We, we should we do got, it. We should do it. We got ER in the, the house. Oh, we got Ronald, two bucks. Shout out from Montreal. Hey, man. Great job. Great job. Lovely to have you. ER, all fantastic channels, too. By the way, good work, Marco, for supporting the mm -hmm. team. There you go, guys. I, um, guys, what's going on? I'm trying to get plastered here tonight. I'm, I haven't even had one drink. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, sensational seller. Five. Uh, that's pounds, right? Yeah, five yeah. pounds. Marco, don't forget when pouring yourself a gin to use the lizard tongue. There you go. You got to get the lizard look. Cheers, big boy. I'm, right, I'm trying to keep track of all of them. I'm trying to write them down. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to, uh, to keep track of all of them. Doc... I want to talk about your collection. You're a big fan of vintage chronographs, right? Yes. I'm a fan of vintage in general and specifically chronographs, yes. Now, I personally really like the vintage chronographs you got. Maybe they're not what a lot of people here would like. Obviously, they're probably steel sports Rolex heavy. But can I ask you, Doc, what, what got you into chronographs, especially or maybe vintage watches or vintage chronographs in particular? Well... It's possibly due to my science background 
and it's possibly just the aesthetic. There's something about having having a um, couple of uh, pushers on the side along with the crown, it, and it, and then it's it's as, it's asymmetric. You know, there's pushers on one side, nothing on the other side. There's there's just something interesting about the whole setup to me. Caught my eye when I was first getting into watches and didn't really know anything else. I just knew, hey, those look cool, and and then I think I told the story once before. I fell in love with the very first time I fell in love with a chronograph. I just simply Googled watch <laughs> images. I Googled watch, and um, I think I was looking for at the time a gold watch, but I Googled watch gold and uh, black dial, and up comes a four-digit Daytona, which I thought, wow, that's stunning, whatever that is. And I didn't even know it was a Rolex. Clicked it, 100 grand. I said, well, that's not for me. <laughs> but that was when I fell in love. That was the first thing I fell in love with. Just going to get this super chat out of the way. Super Steel, $2 Australian. Hope you have an awesome night, boys, from Mr. GMT. Hey, happy to have you, man. Happy to have you. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, I got to tell you, Doc, honestly, the more I look at vintage, the more and the more I do a little bit more research into vintage, I'm starting to slowly but surely fall in love. So for me, in terms of watches, my first two loves were the Explorer and I really like the aluminum bezel Pepsi. That was those were the two. I was like, you know what? If I could get those, I'd be done after that. You know, those are kind of the backbone that I personally want for my collection. But I really love the direction that you're headed in terms of vintage chronographs. I think it's just gorgeous stuff. Well, I appreciate that, Marco. I, for me, I'm I'm a little older, obviously, so I've reached that I've reached that age where I just don't care about what other people have to say. There you go. So, like you know, I I have a Monvis which I'd never heard of. It's a nice Swiss, Swiss brand from the 60s. I took my I took my Rolex to the watchsmith to have them adjust the bezel. And I looked down and I see what was supposed to be a Bulova. It was sitting on a Bulova stand. And I go, that, I didn't know Bulova had any reissues. And I look at it. He goes, oh, that's on the wrong stand. And he, and he pulls it out. He goes, oh, let me put this where it belongs. I go, no, 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 let me look at it. And that's what it was. It was a Monvis kind of a, a lesser name brand by by many people's uh, assessment but it it was in perfect mint condition like it had never been worn and it was 50 years old and i said i got it i gotta buy this 500 dollars, best 500 dollars i've spent in years love that watch we got 10 bucks from tony nico marco thanks for the effort mate sorry man i couldn't pull through i tried my best I might buy a 6006 anyway, 32K, 36K, same, same. When you talk the money for you, sir. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I appreciate the donation. And we got Alex Spain, five euros. Nice, pan, uh, nice panel, loyal fans, priceless. Indeed. Cheers. So can I, can I tell you guys, I, um, it, I said in the group chat I wasn't going to come on today because I have like a little bit of a headache. But I just yeah. to jump on. So I got dressed. And when I say dressed, I mean from the waist up. So I didn't have time to put pants on, but I am wearing pajama bottoms. And if there's the right super chat, I'll show you what they are. Because hey, it's ridiculous. I've got shorts on because I'm getting ready to shave my head off my hair. There's my a, so there's this is where I can just be ready. And I'm just like, I'm looking at myself. I was like, you look ridiculous right now. Hey, Lolix, <laughs> did the headache also go away? No, it's still here. I'm like dying. Oh, really? But I'm playing. I, I, yeah, ever since you got the vaccine, right? The COVID vaccine? Yeah. Ah. Just one second. We got five bucks from Ronald. Marco Luxury. The most interesting vintage chronograph I've seen is a solid gold Omega Species Master. Let's pull it up. Can we talk about speedies yeah. for a minute after this? Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk That's, about them. You guys are going to get a speedy yourself, right? Man, I am I got speedy fever right now. Bad. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we can well, talk about nice that. One. Yeah. That's all I'm thinking about, man. That new 3861. I love the new bracelet now that I keep looking at videos of them. The best part is that clasp on that bracelet is so slim and streamlined. Not only that, the end links that go into the watch, it makes the case like smaller because the old bracelets, the end links, they would stick out. So it's a little bit bigger, but apparently now they're a little, it helps the watch compact, which I like. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I really like the 3861 Speedmaster because personally of the bracelet taper, that's the biggest problem I had with the old bracelet, right? So yes, you just pull them up side by side. I mean, the difference in the bracelet, in my opinion, is kind of night and day, right? I saw, I was watching a YouTube video and someone was showing both of them and the old 1861 is like substantially bigger with that bracelet. If you hold them side by side, you can see how that nice taper brings it together, which I really like. My only thing now is I'm considering Hesalite or Sapphire. Yeah, I personally really like the Sapphire because you get to see the movement. I've always yeah, just been kind of like... That applied logo is really nice. Yeah, I like that as well. Yeah. And that dial, man, we, you've been show, sharing pictures in uh, the group chat. That dial seems like almost like a pie pan dial that they made for like the constellation where it's like yeah. a little elevated, you know? And that's st those step dials in there, like they're very like... They're more, they're more pronounced than the old ones, which I really like. I've always loved Speedmasters. That was my first like luxury watch. Yeah. And like you guys know, I had to sell it, but um, I really want to get another, man. I'm really, I think I'm going to. Yeah, it's iconic in so many ways. I mean, let's be honest. It's the watch that was on the moon because otherwise, <laughs> I mean, it oh, probably boy. is another watch. <laughs> the the purest, purest, agrees. <laughs> yeah, The purest, the, the 3861, they don't, they don't like calling it the moon Ooh. watch. Because it wasn't on the moon. We got the special oh. appearance hey. from Archie. Hey guys. Archie. Hey guys. Archie's here. Welcome to our show. The My Don wife was asking, house. "Where are you? Where are you? Where is Archie?" Guys, 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 serious. This is very, very serious note here. What happened? Uh -oh. um, guys, the carpet beetles. It is just. <laughs> is it that bad? Nasty. I mean, you know, pure wool carpet. You know, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it is a nasty, absolute. It's a nasty joke. And uh, I'm just about. I'll, I'll actually show you. I just, just. I'm just gonna j jump off here. Just j jump off here. I'll, I'll jump on my mo mobile phone. Mobile phone. So just, just, uh, just. I'll just jump out of here. I'm gonna jump out of here. I'm gonna jump on my mobile phone. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Did they chase out the carpet? <laughs> Let me just tell you, fellas, still images may be better than okay, an actual guys. video. Here we go. Okay. We have two, two, two two how bad it is. <laughs> okay, I want to show you how bad it is, guys. I'm going to show you how bad this is. Let me show you. This is this is the damage. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Down on the carpet. Take away the I super chat. Extra yeah. carpet. Marco? They've eaten yeah. me through. Look at this. They have completely... Ah! They have eaten. Look at Nibbled this. to bits. Eaten it completely <laughs> through. <laughs> yeah, so that's Who's gonna... the way it goes there. They have completely eaten. Oh my god. Eaten. Look at this. Then they. What's the... I don't think that's rodent poo. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to know some what it is. It's just sludgy. I don't know what. Oh, I don't know what that arch. Oh my oh, boy! Yeah, Describe yeah. I've it. been moving. I've been moving furniture. I've been moving furniture. So uh, that's how it goes. There, it's a disaster. See, this is the sacrifices I make to get luxury watches. And guys, if I'm doing some work, guess what? I take it off my watch so it doesn't get damaged. Thanks. That's the way to do it. Mark. You know, otherwise it'll get damaged. Ugh. Okay, guys, later. You guys are doing better than when I was doing the shows. I'm gonna, I will, we'll have an early show. I'm gonna do an early show tomorrow because of the Super Bowl. Love you guys. Keep chatting. Uh -huh. And uh, hey, hey, I heard you talk about the Speedmaster there. I can't Archie. pay retail. I just can't do it. That's the only thing that stops me. Yeah, I've fallen in love as well. Retail. Ooh. Okay, oh, guys. Get back to the I'm moving furniture all day today. See you later. Take later. care. Good luck. We got There's five words from Sensational Caller. I have a speedy 1957 trilogy reissue, superb piece at 38.6 millimeters. Bring it up and discuss. What's the verdict? Sure, I'll do that in just a second. We got 
Alex Spain, five euros. You want to see Lolex pajamas, not Archie's carpet? You're up, Lolex. I think there's only one Speedmaster that deserves <laughs> paying retail for. They're comfy. What can I say? Which one is that, Doc? I think it's the reissue 321. I think right. You, Dad, why? Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. I pay internet precisely for this. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ars. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're muted. I don't want to cramp your style. And uh, I got to tell you, Tim, I loved your intro on the Explorer 2. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, you watched you know, the what video. Would have been better? Is yeah. after you did a bit of fancy snow work. Yes. If you then had some close up work. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, know, I. You know what I mean? I know. I had to be on time for, for your show. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's yeah. cool. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do. I'm going to. Thank you. Marco's in charge. I still see he's got the hair. <laughs> yeah. Not the long Come on, guys. Working on. Working on. Okay. See, see you later, guys. So I don't want to cramp your style. That's great. Keep talking. All good. So we got the 1957 reissue of the Speedmaster. I personally really like it. I like the steel I diesel. I, did I really like the bracelet as well. I like the different style bracelet. The only thing I have to say that I do not like is faux patina, man. I do not know why they do it. I don't understand it. I don't like it. I don't want that. But it is, I mean, come on. Of all the things you could do, to mess up a watch, faux patina is the one I wouldn't do. Pontiff, Agreed. it's Ronald from Montreal, or Ronald, five bucks. Pontiff, it's Mo uh, Ronald from Montreal. Can you please send me the live show schedule over WhatsApp, big boy? Okay. I mean, well, usually, first of all, let's make sure Ronald understands it's not Pontiff anymore. Yeah, it's not. First of all, it's not Pontiff anymore. We got ABC. Hey, ABC, how's it going, man? Hey, Marco. Hey, gentlemen, how's it going? Hey, oh, ABC. Buddy. So just just to make sure, Ronald, the Pontiff is now the Don. Just to be clear, the Pontiff is now the Don. And secondly, uh, usually we do our streams when about six thirty p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Tomorrow is going to be a special occasion because it's the Super Bowl. So for the American guys, uh, we're going to do it a little earlier just to accommodate for that. So and actually, Super Bowl is international, so quite a few people going to watch it potentially. Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm from Montreal, so hey, to be fair, it's all good. Uh, Tim Wright, two bucks. Archie watches my channel. So cool. That's right, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Bear Clooney, to uh, Showcase Watches, to Tim Wright, and to myself. If you want to know what our channels are and how to find them, they're just at the beginning of the stream. So you guys can go check them out there. Wait, Marco, can you do the faces? And the <laughs> other one? You look like Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. When you do yeah, there you go. <laughs> Um, so what do we think, guys? Let's go around the panel. The Speedmaster reissue from 1957. Burbinghart, give me your opinion. Give me your thoughts. Oh. I like the setup, by the way. What is that? Yeah, Burbinghart. I, th I think I'm having some, some audio problems. I like it. I like it. Joe Rogan Tell us over what here. you think, man. Tell us what you hold, think. Hold on. I'm, I'm having some problems. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to jump back on. Okay. Tim Wright, what do you think, man? Uh, I've seen it firsthand, but uh, only on the leather bracelet. I got to... I gotta say, guys, I'm impressed, but I want to see that price go down another like 20%. If it goes down 20%, and if my channel ever gets monetized, I'm gonna spend that money to buy a Speedmaster. What then do you it's think? a tax write-off, right, Tim? Then it's a yeah, tax. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. ABC, I'm what do we think? What do we think about the Speedmaster, especially the reissue? Is that the watch you just had up there, the broad arrow? Yeah. The one on the steel brace, I could bring it back up if you want. And it's got uh, a steel bezel as well, yeah? That's, yeah, exactly. That's an older model. That's not the new reissue. That that's looks the, really cool. I'm pretty sure it's the new. It, it's part of the trilogy series, right? This is the part, the one that's part of the trilogy series. Yeah, that looks really cool. It might be just a crappy, like crappy picture. Go to go back to the first picture you just had for one second. This one here? Yeah, go back. Now, go. No, was that? go down a little bit. Underneath the big picture, there was like a couple little ones. Uh, I don't know where it went now. Yeah, um, you see the one with the no on the underneath them. All right, I forget. Reissue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah. it was by the first one you had, but okay. I love this watch. But I think the faux patina personally just ruins it for me. I think that's the only thing I can really knock on it. Well, 
there is an argument that the original uh, the original loom on a lot of these watches, if not all these watches, was not stark white when mm. it came from factory. Mm. So as an example, the 765 Breitling, there was a lot of argument that, hey, I don't like Bo Patina, <clears throat> but you could see from the original literature from the original release in 1953 that the loom looked the same color as the current loom on the new reissue. Very interesting. So, you know, uh, it depends on how far they go. If, if they're just matching it to make it look original, make it look like it came from the factory on the day it was born, see no problem. Yeah, that looks really decent. That, yeah, I like it. Uh, I'm not sure how that the balance of the links on those bracelets is too much towards the center, though, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. The proportions are a bit off on the bracelet, I agree. And I wish it was tapered just a little bit more. I do like it. I think it gives a nice, warm, vintagey feel, the, the color of the loom. I like it a lot. And I think it, it wouldn't hurt you to have this and the regular Speedmaster Professional in the same collection. It would. It's a, there's enough differences there, you know. I think the bezel having the different bezel right. makes a huge difference uh, in terms of feeling a redundancy. It's not. It's not going to feel nearly as. Has, has anybody ever handled this in person? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, Lulex? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. Open. okay. Has anybody handled one of these in person? Not the Fifty Seven trilogy. Yeah, I haven't either. I would love to see how that bracelet feels. It's a thick uh, I, watch. I'm pretty sure it's almost 15 millimeters thick, so it's a big boy. I'd argue for you, Lex. Lex. Sorry, go ahead. I still, yeah. I'd still argue for Lolex to consider the smaller uh, first Amiga in space. Mm. Yeah, if they were still retail, if I could still pick one up at an AD, I would get one. But I want, I really want to take a look at the new Speedies, the 386s, because I've been reading online they're they're smaller. They feel smaller. So much uh, uh, two bucks faux patina for faux moon landing. You can't <laughs> handle the truth. <laughs> it was all just—it was all just a myth. It's a myth. I'm gonna say amen to those white chrono hands. They'll just be so much more legible. Mm. Yeah. On on the speedy reissues. Yeah. I mean faux patina for the faux moon landing. It matches. <laughs> That's why. I'm not That's arguing. That's why they did it. <laughs> you, you would believe that the moon landing was fake. We're about to go down this road, huh? <laughs> Guys, I well, just we often go down quick. this road, burbing hard. You should know that by now. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. Won't be a good one. Guys, I all I can say is I didn't start it. What is this, guys? I am so disappointed. I should be trashed at this point in the stream. We're almost 30 minutes in, and I barely <laughs> drank anything. Come on, guys. If you want to see this numbers, lovely hair get shaved, that. listen to this, okay? This is definitely working, all right? It's That's definitely so working. aggressive. Guys, what is this? <laughs> I, I hope it runs out of batteries halfway through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope so, too, to be honest with you. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Yankee, Yankee Doodle. Doodle two there bucks. I can confirm the new Speedy is slightly smaller. Yeah, because it's the, the end bracelet. Links. It's the end links, exactly. The end links and of the bracelet is... They say uh, it, it, it shortens the length of the watch, which is most important when you're looking, when you're worrying about wrist size. It's the length. Yeah. That's the one. There we go. We got Tim Wright. Five bucks. Drink up, big boy. Make sure Drink to check up. out TimWright.com, guys. TimWright.com. And guys, view thank his you. live streams for the after show. Is my audio slightly better? Because I plugged in this mic I bought off of. Whoa! Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's like oh a straight karaoke mic. Yeah, I feel like an R&B singer right now. Just like <laughs> and you love Cartier here? Or is it all Rolex guys? I personally really like Cartier. So I do too. Let me just pull up some models that I personally really like. The Santos is really cool. I like those yeah. a lot. I'm a I'm a big fan of the Santos myself. I think Ooh, I like the tank's Nico's. design, but I just wish it was a little bigger. That's why I kind of like the Santos. The Cheers, XL, man. right? Um, they actually make one in between. It's like a, a large. I really? Think that that would be the right size for me. That XL is is a big boy. Um, yeah. So Doc, have you ever had the Cartier? The drive. I really like this watch. There's something cool about it. I don't know what it is. But I personally really like it. Right. What are the dimensions on this? I think I've looked at this one before, but not like... It's 40 mil by right. 41 approximately, I think. 
<laughs> oh man, we got two bucks. Kryptonite frog, show the vibrator. There you go. We got Alex Spain, five euros. Richard Mill, panel thoughts. I think the Pontiff, or excuse me, uh, Archie perfectly described Richard Mill. It's a brand made for rich people who have too much money and too much time on their hands. Is but, it Richard or Richard, by the way? Uh, it's, it's Richard, Richard. Mill. It's Richard it's Mill, right? Richard Mill, but whatever yeah. it is, what it is, like just RM. They, yeah. they make they make great watches. I'm not going to knock them on that. I mean, their movements are sourced from a legendary movement manufacturer called Renault and Poppy, which mm-hmm. is really great. Nowadays, it's owned by AP. Like, yeah, some of the best independent watchmakers come from there, like the Grunefeld brothers, the pair from Grubel 4C. So it's their movements are actually very. Like in terms of their horological punch, they're amazing, but I just personally don't like the style or the design. You asked for a take a drink. Hey, thanks, man. Cheers, Brian. Let's get Marco just, drunk. Have you ever had a Cartier before? I've never had Talk one. To stuff. I, Doc? Oh, was that a question to me? Have I had a Cartier? Yeah. I have not. He says, I I'm probably, yeah. yeah. The tank I probably would get one for it. Let's, let's I'd probably go. get a tank for a lady if I had a lady that deserved one. Yeah, I always thought Cartier was such a great brand for women. Anytime I saw a woman with a Cartier watch, I was like, oh, that's really, that's classy. Classy. Yeah, yeah very, very classy. classy. You know, one of my friends, uh, he, he's got quite a bit of money, and he only buys Cartier watches. He's not like a huge watch buff. He's more like a, you know, for, for, for fashion reasons. And I asked him one time, yeah. like, why, why don't you buy something a little higher end, like a Patek Philippe or even like a Rolex, you know, for the daytime? Yeah. And uh, he says, I, he says, I only wear them because women like them, and they love the Cartier watches. That's Ooh. why he buys them. I mean, he's not a watch guy, but I, I'm just, yeah. you know, trying to say. I think that's he's a I'm ladies' like. man. Yeah, he's a ladies' wow. man, right? Christopher <laughs> from Christopher from <laughs> The Sopranos cool. only wore Cartier. I mean, even for men, it is still very nice. And obviously, you got the heritage there. Not only did Andy Warhol wear it, but you also got um, JFK. What was his name? Muhammad Ali, who also wore it, JFK, who also wore it. So there's a lot of people in history that are considered, I guess you could say, stylish or manly men that have worn a Cartier. So you can't really go wrong with this watch. I think in terms of its design, it's timeless, it's classic. So right. yeah, it's you just, just got to get the right one, Marco. Oh, this is but, this is really important because there's a yeah. lot of pitfalls in the tank. There's like cheap, you, you know, there are uh, like, what are they called? Uh, not full gold. There's like you know gold plating. Gold plating there's gold there's silk. one with steel bags. You have to be so careful. Don't go for the cheapest one, because uh, uh, yeah, you might get a a shitter version of. Let's obviously. just get these super chats out of the way. We got CB ten bucks. I'm glad you guys are talking of other than Rolex. Hey man, there you go. Rolex there you go. Rolex. Right. More Rolex. That's all that matters. Hey, you know well, I I have no problem buying. I don't dis- discount their. Uh, horological value as a company i think they're very you know I, I i don't like when people say like they're strictly fashion or anything like that because i think there's a lot more to them than that but i just think it'll be a little crazy to only only buy cardia you know what i mean yeah. i think that's a little a little odd to only have that in your collection but i they're mean not- i don't see anything wrong with having at least one cardia in your collection there's a lot of other brands besides rolex that i really like i really like iwc personally i really like yeah. the brand oh yeah yeah, me too. So for example, Cartier to me isn't a movement maker, right? They're a design maker. It's their designs that shine through, right? Like Rolex, like Omega, like Patek. It's it's more their, their I mean, it can be a combination of their designs and their movement. But for me, a lot of it has to do with their movement. Let's just get these super chats real quick. We've got Kryptonite Frog, two bucks, Richard Mill. That's right. And then we got Manigan. I'm 33 and only have an Explorer 1. I want a diver. Thoughts on the Scheitling Super Ocean Heritage 42? Seeing one on uh, the other day, it definitely looks good on the wrist. Listen, that's a great watch. You can't go wrong with that. What that would I one? get personally? Is that the one I with would... the mesh brand band? Sorry. Yeah. 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 Don't buy that's it a new. Watch. Don't buy it new yes. and you you can't go wrong. That's and a very big watch. Uh, not that I have one. Right? one. In fact, oh, that's Super Ocean I have, Heritage. Yeah. Yeah. I have the Don oh. Super Ocean Heritage yeah. and it's one of the more eye-catching watches it's certainly the watch that i have found ladies notice the most oh very yeah. chunky it's a very chunky watch yeah it's well the 42 really wears well right yeah. it does mm-hmm. it's, 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 
So you can get a 42, 44, 46. Those are... They have a 38 mil one as well with a uh, small cent second hands. They do have a 38, which they seem to be marketing to the ladies, but I'm not positive about hmm. that. Probably. Would it be sacrilege to bring up Glashuta? Glashuta? I think that the CQ is just a gorgeous watch. This is... Oh, it's so expensive, though. It is very I was going to say, it's not the bang for the buck watch, but it's, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, you're buying this on the secondary market, right? But we're talking about, he's got an Explorer one, right? So if you want something yeah. with real horological punch, man, to me, this is the way to go. Glashuta, you will get respect from me because this is a beautiful watch. This is a hand-finished watch, and it is just gorgeous in my opinion. What do we think, guys? I think I they go for about pay. eight. Okay. Yeah, MSRP right? on it. And so maybe the market will allow it to drift down to maybe six, but you can get the Super Ocean Heritage for, well, I picked four. mine up for two, but certainly you should four. be able to get it under four. Right. So yeah. it depends on what you're looking for and how much you want to spend. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Listen, the, the Breitling is still a fantastic watch. If you're asking me personally, what would I go for? I would save up and wait a little bit and get this. But you honestly cannot go wrong. Hold on, let me just go back with the super. Ocean. Oh, the one has the data three, I've always one really has the data the four from the glass suit. You know, I would I go personally. Talking. I would go with the with the Breitling, and then later update it to a sub. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it would be easier to upgrade Breitling to a sub uh, than the Glashuta. I think you're kind of stuck with it. What and about as, as far as the Glashuta also? By the time you're spending that sort of money, you can get a nice um, Black Bay 58. Rolex. No, I mean if you're if you're if you're not wanting for the, to go to the Rolex thing, you can get a Black Bay 58, which you know I think it's I think it's uh, competing quite well with the Glashute at at significantly lesser price. What about the Navi timer? I feel like we never or people don't really talk about them. What about Navitimer? <laughs> well, the Navitimer reissue is a big hit for a lot of people. I mean, they're yeah, it's not a diver. In terms of the question, it's not a diver, but it's... Uh... I feel like people don't talk about them a lot. I know I have one friend who has a Navitimer, and I really like it on him. If you're a You've got so guy, many variants. Cool. That's the thing, uh, Lolex. Ooh. There's so many variants of the Navitimer. Are. Some are sort of like the... the should it be the B01, whatever that, you know, for that particular movement or... Some that are after that with the six nine twelve subdial chrono. It's it's, it's a bit uh, a minefield there. Yeah, there it's all over the place. Let's but just get this real quick. Ronald, ten bucks. I wanted to share the current state of my collection for fun. It's a three piece. I think GA is great. I will add one at some point. Can somebody pull up that link? Because I can't copy that link. Just real quick. Just put it in the private chat if you don't mind. I can't even grab. Let me see if I can grab that. Okay, I'm going to Oh, nice. Bert, beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ooh. Ooh. That is a beauty. Hold on. Let me share that with you guys. That is a heck of a collection. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you. That's guys. a funky collection, that. That is very unique. That gets my respect. That's Gordon. a watch collector right there. What Grand Seiko is that? Hold on. Let's just... Yeah, the super chat CB ten bucks. Navitimers are cool, especially the vintage one. Yeah, I like the the reissue they just did. I forget what it's called. It's got like a plexiglass crystal. Eight oh six. The eight oh six. I really love that one. That's the one. That is a gorgeous Navitimer. I think if you can get one at a good discount, I think that is the one to get. Limited edition. It is what it is. But you know, I think it's just gorgeous. Mike GMT, two bucks. The Navi is too hard to read for blind people. Yeah, it is definitely busy. <laughs> it's got yeah. an extremely busy dial. Yeah. And, and the hands relative, it's a lot like uh, the world time, you know. Yeah. SDG check SDG world time, the hands are so much smaller. You know, right. what do we yeah. think about this collection? What do we think? I think it's got a lot of personality. I like, That's you know, he, sure. has, mm. he has a lot of, you know, you have one center polish links, the other one's all brushed, then you have a leather strap. All three different dial colors. Um, the only thing that would have given it a little more variation if, if you had one, like the Zenith was your chronograph, and maybe the Grand Seiko you didn't get as a chronograph, maybe a little something different, would be the only way to make it a little more, you know, different. But, I mean, 
I like it a lot. I think it's got a lot of personality. Yeah. Mm. This guy definitely goes against the grain. That's for sure. Yeah. He's not jumping on any bandwagons. Right. And has an early love for chronographs. What's but he, he's definitely not going to buy a speedy. Diver. What's he missing? Personally, I think I got the answer. We just pulled it up. The glass shoot to CQ. He said he wanted to have <laughs> Yeah. He's missing a diver. I think that's the watch for him. That is a stupendous collection. Amazing collection. I really, really like that collection. You know what I would you know what I would sub out? I'll tell you what I would sub out. If he does Go get ahead. a CQ or or another diver on a on a bracelet, maybe um instead of the, the Grand Seiko he got, I might get the Grand Seiko GMT. Uh Ooh. you know which one I'm talking about, Marco, right? Yeah, I'm gonna pull S- it up. SBGM two what is it, two two one or something? I don't is remember. That spring drive, JJ. Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't believe so. I could I be wrong though. No, I, I don't think. It. Right. It's the moment it has like an off-white dial with the with the blue GMT hand. Uh, it's more like a oh. dressier GMT, but I mean, I'm kind of like particular with the Grand Seiko. That's pretty much the only one I'm really interested in getting myself. So maybe a little bias there, but you know. Let me just pull it up. Let yeah. me pull it up really quickly. Hold on. This is the one I personally like, JJ. If I was going to get a Grand Seiko, this is my pick. I like the Whirlpool dials from Grand Seiko. It's the uh, SPGM nice. 235. That's mm-hmm. really nice. I personally love this one. This is my pick for sure. What do we think, That's guys? That's a pretty crazy one. That blue hand is very sexy. I love this one. This is my favorite you- Grand Seiko they ever made. Which, yeah, which usually, you know, like? the GMT track is on the outside, but here the GMT track is on the inside. It's pretty cool. Also, very good for people who like reading the 24-hour. I forget the reference on, on the one Military that we were talking about, JJ. I honestly yeah. cannot remember. SBGM021, I think, is the cream doll GMT. Let me look at it. Yeah, that's the one. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's it. Mm. We got some super chats, bank for buck. Yeah, let me get these. Let me get these. Hold uh, on. I, I, I like this one a lot. I think... I would make that my GMT if you wanted to stay away from Rolex. Micah J, a uh, hundred check dollars. Speaking of Zenith, just to be different, thoughts on the Zenith forty-five millimeter pilot? I mean, to me, it's a little bit Ooh. too big. Big Not boy, uh, huge. Oh, Tim's got to go, man. Take care, Tim. Yeah, All right, sorry Tim. guys. I have a friend yeah. over. He's so cool. He let me, you, you know, time. join you. I'll try you to do that. Him on the show. channel. No yeah, guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> he has two swatches. I, I actually I convinced him to do an Archie review for you guys. He's got two yeah. swatch watches. It's gonna be Archie explodes. Hopefully. Oh, love it. Okay. Love it. <laughs> Take care, guys. Take care. Take care, Take care man. Tim. Let's just pull it up. Let's just pull it up. To me, I just think it's way too big, and that crown is massive. Right. If, I if, if I'm buying a Zenith, I'm getting an El Primero chronograph yeah. movement. You know what I mean? Like, yep. That's just my opinion. I, it could just be me, but that's a crown with a watch that goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks it's like a great well question here, guys. Well like an Let's just get these super chats real quick. We got oh. Joe Money, two bucks. Glashuta CQ or Blanc Pen 50 Fathoms Bathyscape. Ooh, that's a good question. Personally, I'm going Glashuta. I think Glashuta is better, uh, personally, in terms of the finishing uh, of the movement and overall the build quality. I don't really like Blanc Pen. I think that they've got a, an aura of, like, uh, how do I put it, pompousness, because they're the quote-unquote oldest watch brand in history. I mean, it was a dead brand until 1960 when Jean-Claude Beaver revived them. I just don't personally like the brand. I don't like the Bath Escape either. I would go with the CQ. That's just my pick. Hey, before you go forward, forward go the one, the one before that from uh, Mika J. Yeah, that's that, that's a hundred dollar. Like we're just counting as a hundred dollars, right? We're not doing a, an exchange. <laughs> What's that? Wait, which one? No, 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 no. For, for the total, no, I mean, a thousand dollars. It's not a thousand dollars. A thousand American, US. A thousand no. US. Oh, what? A hundred, a hundred check is four dollars and sixty-seven cents. I already did the math, so. There you go. Man. I think bucks. we should count it as a hundred dollars ago. That's See, what I'm saying. Do, do we specify yeah. uh currency? No that's a, that's, we got ten Marco, bucks. That hair that's is coming off to today. Get over it. I do not right? want to do it's coming off. I will and fly I got a no push ups yet, guys. What is this? Not even one push up. <laughs> Where's MJT? Where's Van Lux, man? CB ten bucks. Grab the Grand Seiko GMT. It's super nice. I love my peacock. Yeah, the right. Grand Seiko Peacock. That has been a great investment grade watch as well. I don't know how, but hey, it's done. 
Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. We are three shitters away from having a TGV cameo. Listen, <laughs> I got to tell you guys, these are great watches. Guys. Iconic. These are great watches. These are great. <laughs> tell so us, ABC. ABC, what do you think, man? Chuffed to bits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm chuffed there to bits. Go. <laughs> <laughs> got him! There you uh, go. What? Who's who's doing these sound drops? Uh, That's definitely hard. Oh, no, no, it's not me. I swear. I'm right. I'm writing down uh, the super chats, and I'm trying to pay attention to you guys. Okay. These, I got, this I got my one. hands full. <laughs> if I could get one Grand Seiko, that's the. I love this one. Ooh, look at this. We got Ronald five bucks in order. I will add next a GMT Master Two, Zenith Chrono Master Sport. I love that, and GA Panamatic Lunar. Let's pull them up. Let's pull them up. So GMT Master Two. I'm sure most of you know what that is. Zenith Chrono Master Sport. I secretly love this watch. I actually made a video about this watch. I personally don't think it looks anything like a Daytona. Let me pull up that side by side. Well, it has some Daytona DNA, but some Daytona DNA came from Zenith. Yeah, absolutely. So it's totally allowed. Sorry about that, guys. One second. This is the one right here. So look at this, okay? We got, in terms of the differences, crown guards versus no crown guards on the uh, Daytona versus the Corona Master Sport. Pump pushers on the Zenith versus screw down pushers. You got different style lugs on both watches. Tri-colored subdials on the Zenith versus monochromatic subdials on the Daytona. And you've also, okay, you got two ceramic bezels. Granted, you got two ceramic bezels. However, the graduation on them are totally different. To me, I think Zenith, knocked it out of the park on this one we just got to give credit where credit is due you also got a sapphire case back on the zenith and the finishing on that watch is far superior to anything i think that rolex does so i think honestly it's a fantastic watch if it goes down to that five to seven thousand dollar range which i think it will with you know a couple of years i think it'll be amazing banker buck and let's just pull this up la Chuta panomatic lunar i personally like if I were to get one, these are very rare, but to me, these are the nicest Panamatic Lunars they ever made with a salmon dial, but they're impossible to find. Those we got CB 10 bucks. Blanc Payne 50 Fathoms is high horology. Secondhand is good value. They're finished super well too. Absolutely. Listen, I'm not discounting Blanc Payne. I think they're fantastic watches. They're just not personally to my taste. It's not what I personally enjoy. Uh, I would get the Glashu to CQ any day over the, the 50 Fathoms just because of the size too. I mean, the 50 Fathoms is a 43 millimeter, 15 millimeter high or thick watch. So that's a big chunky watch that you're wearing. That's what there's no, isn't there a 38 mil version though of that watch? That's the Bathyscape. The Bathyscape is 40 millimeter. Right. But the 50 I, Fathoms, I don't think so. Okay. Not did you see the, you see, did you see the uh, Houdinki limited edition? The Blanc Paint? Yeah, the 2020 limited up. edition. We can pull it up. We got Jason M, 10 bucks. Good evening, boys. Seeing that Marco is hosting tonight, pour yourself a drink. Hey, I already got one poured. I'll take a drink for you, man. Let's get him drunk, guys. Let's get him drunk. Yeah, this is so tame compared to last time, man. We got Mike GMT. The clasp is a blatant ripoff. Actually, that's not true at all. The clasp that they did. Hold on. I'm gonna send it El Primero. Okay. He's gonna get drunk enough that six revival bracelet. He'll start saying the uh, the Omega Seamaster Beijing 2020 isn't a rip off of the Opmaster. This is the oh, it definitely <laughs> is a rip off of the Opmaster. Well, just have a few more drinks first, Marco. <laughs> Guys, look at this class. Look at the class on this one. It's the exact same class that they did on the Chrono Master Sport. It's not a rip off. It's the exact same thing. Do we disagree? It's cool. Yeah. I don't know a lot about Zenith. Mm. The clasp is the same one as the one that's on the Chrono Master Sports. So to me, it's not a blade and ripoff. All they changed the only thing that I did fault them in my video was that they chose to do polished center links. Do brush center links, you know, if you, especially if you're gonna kind of steal kind of the styling of the bracelet. You know, <laughs> don't do a blade and ripoff with polished center links, but hey, that's just my opinion. That's just one man's opinion. We got CB 10 bucks. 50 fathoms is 45 millimeters, but it wears like a 42. I mean, hey, if you can pull it off, 
good for you. My wrists cannot pull that off. I have chicken wrists. There's no way I'm doing that. You have chicken wrists? Yeah. I mean, you have chicken wrists. Yeah, it's I my know. my wrists are very small as well, to be fair. So listen, if, that's not to say that the the Blanc Pain 50 Fathoms isn't a fantastic uh, watch. It's just not for me. What do we think, guys? I wouldn't buy one personally. The uh the the Ellie Houdinki ones are trading for like twenty thousand. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh Jesus. That's Let's that's the uh, the Houdinki tax though. Houdinki hmm. limited edition. Yeah, it's the mil spec. Ooh, what's the sizing on this? Do you know? It's uh the one on your right, upper that's right. That's twenty grand. That orange and white. This one here. Yeah, that's twenty thousand dollars. That's what I'm seeing people putting them up for. Wow. More dollars than cents. More dollars than cents. GB two bucks. Where's big boy? Keep up the good work. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'm surprised. Not much. Not much on Rolex. Not many drinks. No push-ups. Guys, I'm kind of disappointed here, man. I was expecting a lot more hectic time this time around. And my hair is still on my head. <laughs> man. Oh. You know, man. So, Burbinghardt, how are you liking uh, your new watch? Are you still in the honeymoon phase? Uh, Yeah, still. Oh, Have you worn it to work yet? Yep, I have. And it's it's nice because it, it flies under the radar pretty well. Mm. Is that the yeah, 42 so. mil or 40 mil? It's a 40 mil. Okay, 40 mil yeah. Swiss only. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't nice. I don't love the uh, the hollow case? end links. Yeah, Hole's case has the hollow end links though. We Brian got Brian BK okay. two bucks. Why does it look look like Lolex is about to spit fire? Hey, it looks like is. it looks like I'm about looks to like do he's a comedy right now. I can give you a beat if you no, want. No, 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 you rap battle. No yeah, way, guys. You're about to rap battle. Yeah, bro. Uh, hundred super chat, and I'll start rapping right now. Oh, and Marco's gonna <laughs> literally Marco's gonna rap beatbox rap. for him. I will start beatbox. I'll start dropping some flames. All right, boys, <laughs> it's that time. I gotta take a bathroom break real quick. Just hold down the fort for me. All right, nice. That's it. The liquor's Brought running. Brought to you by JJ. Wrong. Okay, yeah. guys. So I'm really considering getting the Speedmaster to the point where I'm considering selling the Explorer one. Doing something crazy. Yeah. It's just crazy talk. Oh, Did is you that crazy? Like, nah, uh, come on, man. You can't do that. Man. That's sacrilege. Uh, yeah, don't. Uh, AJ, give me some backup here. All right. This, 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 Look, the prices are going to fall. Prices are going to calm down. Just hold a few months. Yeah. That's what I, I'd say. Right. I'm not saying I, I, it's a crap watch. Of course, it's a good watch, but just wait for the prices to be more sensible. Listen, he's right, and here's another two reasons why he's right. Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't sell your Explorer one right now because they might discontinue or change it in, in, by April. Yeah. And also, you're going to pay full full rake for the um, Speedy right now. So I would hang out a few months, and I think you'll see the prices come down, and you might see the price go up on your Explorer. And then at least give it a little Definitely. time. I mean, you just got that one anyway. Yeah, give, it I know. A couple, give it a couple of months and see how you feel. You know what I mean? If it doesn't gel within that, that time, I think you'd be better off to make your decision at that point. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm going to wait, but I wanted to tell you guys this idea today and not when Archie was on because I didn't want to get screamed at. <laughs> no, it'd be, it'd, 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 be like buying, it'd be like buying GameStop today. Dude, right. It would be don't, like don't buy GameStop by my today. dad. I would, f I would be so scared. Tonight, frog, two bucks, small wrist, small bladder. Cheers. Hey, cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> oh, You're killing cool. me, Smalls. And we got Mr. Grand, two euros. Marco Toilet Break, sponsored by JJ Lecou. That's right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grand. I got to get my Super Chats back up and running. Somebody sabotaged me. Hey, there you go. There you go. We got CB, 10 bucks. Lolex, the only watch I regret buying. Or the one I sold. Don't sell anything. That's I've right, sold, guys. I've sold a lot of watches. Hoard and possess. I've sold a lot. Sold a lot. Especially sold. when it comes to Rolex, you got to stick to the Archie rule, right? When it I've comes sold too. When it comes to Rolex, you don't sell. You just buy more. Just buy more. I sold Ooh. an Oyster Perpetual and a Datejust. I got a big one. Look at this. We got 50 bucks from Spence R. Oh, this hair is coming off. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so excited. You're finish your drink. What's the panel's view on the Parmigiani 1950 Tonda Loon Slate? The depreciation is strong. 
in this one, but sure, but it sure is pretty. All right, guys. I don't have that much love to be fair. So I'm just gonna take this away so you guys can see. Cheers, guys. Take it down, take it down. Yeah, yeah. Are, are, we, you pull, are you pulling you're pulling this one up? I'm imagining, right? Yeah, there. I'm gonna pull it up. Right. So no to the speedy. I'm telling no, you, man. No, it's like not no to the speedy. No, it's, a, it's a no, not yet. yet. It's a not it's a, yet. Yes. Yeah, right. right. Yes, just vulture. a not right now. Just one second. Turkey Vulture, five bucks. Hey, Captain Marco, have a drink. Salute, punters. Yep, I'll get to right to you. salute. Thank you, Turkey. Don't be. And we got Jeb, another five bucks. So I'll just chug a little bit of this. What ha What watches have you guys sold? Like, What watches have you had that you guys have gotten rid of? I would love to hear that around the panel. I, I sold two watches in my, in my life, and one I didn't regret. One like no, both I didn't really regret. Actually, I had a Panerai. It was just too big, and yeah. I had the Explorer two forty two mil, which was also just too big. I probably oh. I regret. I only regret selling it because I sold it too early. If I would have held it another six months, I probably would have made another three thousand on the sale. What a watch, guys! Look at this. Are we wow. ready? Look at this beautiful watch. This is. Unbelievable. This guy's Parmigiani to me is probably the best bang per buck discount on the gray market because you can have these literally, I'm not even joking, over 50% off retail. It's unbelievable. These watches are fantastic. And the reason that they're so inexpensive is because Parmigiani owns pretty much everything. So they own their dial manufacturer, they own uh, their movement manufacturer, they own the case makers. And, of course, they have watchmakers who assemble and put together all these watches. Their watches are hand-finished. This, to me, is just a gorgeous, gorgeous watch. You got a double moon face. That is gorgeous. You got a date at 3 o'clock, sub-seconds. And I'm pretty sure this is the movement right over here. Or, no, sorry. Oh, yeah, it is the movement. So it's a micro-rotor. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually a Voche caliber, if I'm not mistaken, because they own Voche. But I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, if anything. What do we think, guys? The only thing I dislike about this watch is the name. I just hate saying Parmigiani, to be honest with you. I would never <laughs> buy it just for that. Just Maybe it's an Italian thing. I don't know. It just bugs me a little bit. I love Parmesan. Yeah, that, but I, I think of like a chicken cutlet <laughs> Parmesan when I say the name. I don't know. I know I know that sounds silly, but the watch is beautiful, I think. I just hate saying the name, to be honest. That's true. It's almost like a Grand Seiko thing. It's almost... If you just dislike the name, I mean, you're gonna have, yeah, you're gonna have a little regret, I think, with the watch if you hate saying the yeah. name. Okay, let's let's just pull this up real quick. Let's just pull this up. I got Chrono Twenty Four. It is not cheap, to be fair. So you're still paying. I mean, I think these are in steel, seventeen thousand in steel. These are this is the the rose gold one, thirty two thousand. Uh, so pretty, pretty damn expensive. You're definitely paying an arm and a leg. Let me just see this. That's protect money in my book. Yeah. yeah. But don't forget, this is an like independent watchmaker, right? So we're talking independence comes with a little bit of a premium. Uh, showcase watches five pounds. Thank Lola, you, showcase. I have an explore one and a Speedmaster. The Speedmaster is the watch I have between them. Speedy is more than a watch. Explorer is just a watch. Well, hold I don't on. Know hold on. This is coming from Mr. Omega, though. Yeah, exactly. Showcase. I don't know if Doc back. <laughs> Bro, yeah, this don't be mad, steel. guys. When I just pull up one day, I'm just like, I made a mistake. <laughs> just like holding up. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. Regret. Please. Hey, Archie just made a video about that. Regret selling Steel Sports Rolex. <laughs> right? Didn't he just make a video on that? I think he did. He's, he's made a few of those. But yeah, I'd have to wait. See what, um, yeah, because I can end up getting more money for it down the line. So just give it a little bit. I need to get the Speedmaster cheaper down the road as well. Yeah, get a good discount on it at an 80. But I've never gotten good discounts from any of the Omega 80s because I was going to get a 1861 not too long ago. And best they did, they said they'd give, uh, they sell to me with no tax. Mm -hmm. Which, mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, listen, just wait for the new model to come out in higher production and you'll probably get 20, 30% off pretty easily. I would say that would be the only awesome. Thing is, yeah. But the watch is still very expensive. So 20, 30% off. I mean, it's basically what the retail price should already be at the moment. Right. Yeah. Uh, you'll be paying close to six. So 
Who yeah, you got? Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. Speedy is a more than a watch, is not my passion? Okay, so just <laughs> turning to Spence R's super chat, he said, uh, finish your drink. Tonda 1950s uh, Loon Slate. What do I think? What do I think? I think it's a gorgeous watch. Would I personally get it? I mean, it depends what your collection is, Spence. If you've got, you know, a good backbone of watches that you're comfortable with getting, then sure. I think it's a fantastic watch. The movement is high horology. It's a high horology movement. And of course, you're getting it from a great brand. From Michael Parmigiani is a fantastic watchmaker. He had the likes of Kerry Budalainen, who used to work with him, who's my personal favorite watchmaker in the world. I think he makes probably the nicest watches. But if I would get it for myself, listen, I would tell you, get Patek Philippe all day long over Parmigiani. But I still think it's a great watch. If you really like it, if you plan on keeping it, you know, kind of for the rest of your life and you can get a good discount on it, then, yeah, it's got my thumbs up of approval. I don't know what you guys think. Not for me. Yeah, it depends. It depends yeah. what you're into, for sure. I think yeah. H. Moser is more bang per buck yeah. than Parmigiani. Yeah. Right. We got showcase watches two pounds. Doc, please tell the boys why Speedy is not the Explorer. It's because it's the Moon Watch, Fikerunis. It is. I think it means watch. why Speedy, not Explorer. Like, why would you choose a Speedy over the Explorer? Uh, I mean, it hasn't even uh-huh. really been to the Moon, right? I mean, yeah, no. Exactly. We go. Has it? <laughs> has it been to the Moon? Who knows? You Who can't knows? handle the truth. Oh no, I thought you meant this new movement. <laughs> Whatever. We got Turkey Vulture, two bucks. Explorers and Icon, no sell, no sell. Yeah, you can't sell Steel Sports Rolex, man. Come on, Rolex. You I know my name is Rolex too. Steel Sports Rolex. You got to keep the Explorer. Keep the Explorer. Buy the, add. buy the Pepsi. Buy the Panda, and you're good, man. There you go. Yeah. Take out a loan. Hit the stores and just drop some money. For Forget sure. the condo. Just get the Rolex. There yeah. you go. Move back home with my parents, sell my car. I get it. Yeah. I'll just do that. <laughs> Gotta, make <laughs> sacrifice. Make Gotta sacrifice. make sacrifices in this life. Elon, right? man. Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing came easy. All right. <laughs> there you go. Guys, come on. What is this? Guys, I should be wasted out of my mind. This is nothing. JJ, well, we're actually having nothing. decent, coherent watch talk. Is you know, <laughs> I think it's uh there's a balance. Right. And JJ, talk to me. What do, what do we think? What do we think? What do we add in terms of donations at the moment? Uh, well, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. We're we're, le- we're less than halfway there, so don't worry. Don't don't get too nervous. Okay, that's good. That's I good. mean, you're you're, yes, you're asking for you're, you're asking for a tall number. <laughs> yeah, a thousand bucks? Nah, it's not that tall. It's not. That... We did eight hundred last stream, so it's not that much. It's not. That much. I thought I would have shaved my head off already, to be honest with you. <laughs> and what do you think about Lolex selling the Explorer One, JJ? Our voice of reason. Talk to well, us. I already, He's on told, board. I already told him I wouldn't sell it now at all. Um, and, you know, and like like Arch always says, if you can't afford to add, just wait. But um, I understand, like you don't want to leave money sitting in something you're not going to wear. If you don't like it, don't keep it. Obviously, it doesn't doesn't make any sense to keep something you don't enjoy. But right now, you're in a place where speedies are at their highest. They're going to be. Mm-hmm. right now and the explorer is possibly going to get discontinued and could go up in value so there's it's a no-brainer to wait until at least may june and see what the situation is then and if you if you didn't gel with that watch that you just got by then if you still want to get rid of it then get rid of it and get a speedy yeah. which will be lower in price by that point but and you know what lolix back to your like your other question about selling watches like what you've sold oh, yeah, yeah. it seems to be like there's different strategies like i think i'm kind of more like in marco's camp like i build real slowly and it's like if i want a sub it's like okay that's a three-year plan i budget for it i save and then when i get it it's like okay it's like it's to commemorate like an achievement or something and so i have no for intention sure. of selling them whereas you know i think there's kind of the other camp of people like like arch right that they'll flip a lot of them um, so they get to experience a lot of different watches. So yeah. you're, you you seem to be more of like the kind of guy that will flip some and experience more. And then mm-hmm. I'm one that it's like, yeah, I don't ever really plan on selling them. It's like, I, I plan on passing mine down to, you know, yeah. my, my kids one day. Who's got three years though, Burbing hard. I don't COVID's going to take me out. Let's be honest. Look there you me. go. We got Louis, the fist five bucks, Explorer one versus Eric King. Uh, I would definitely say explore one all day. I think yep. the design is just a better overall design and you can use it kind of, again, it depends your collection, right? If you've got a collection of a lot of watches, then 
you know, either is fine. Any steel sports Rolex is fine. But personally, I would say the Explorer is just a better all-rounder. So I would go for Explorer over the Air King. Just my opinion. We've got Clive's Potato Head, two bucks. <laughs> Parmigiani's value sunk after third rate Esquires bought in. There you go. And we got Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. One cannot use the word coherent on this channel. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> true, guys. Very true. And Louis the Fisting, two bucks. Lolex, how much for the Explorer one? And is it complete? What does that mean, complete? Like box like, of papers? Yeah, all links, box papers. Full set. Video, box papers, full I'll let it go. For ten grand, and it's yours. Ten grand. Anybody on the channel that wants it, I would sell for ten have, grand. Someone offered me ten grand new, for it. Uh, does it have the new updated uh, Rolex yeah. card? Yeah, yeah, he just got it. it. How, how long you have it? A couple weeks? Two weeks? Yeah, not long. Not very long. It's brand new. I hope JD isn't watching. Your chance of getting the Pepsi exactly. I was just gonna say. Um, yeah, I don't think they're watching this. <laughs> no way. I think, you're I think you're safe. Yeah, dude. No way. All right, guys, by, by showcases total, we're at approximately 324 minus the super chats that I just pulled up, or 328 bucks. So we still got another 600 and something dollars to go. So that's a you good You might be good keeping friend. your hair. I really? would like to keep my hair and get I'm a regular hair. Luscious head of hair. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you want to sell a little. I thought you really enjoyed the size of it. Yeah, I do. It's just, I mean, I've. The Speedmaster was my first luxury watch I ever bought. Well, that's not true. I had a Seamaster before that, but the Speedmaster was the one that I first like really fell in love with. Um, and yeah, I don't know why I've always really, really liked them. And and when the new ones came out, I was like 50-50 on it. But I started watching more videos on them and really took a liking to the bracelet. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to definitely get one for sure in the near future. It's just figuring out how to do it. This is expensive, yeah. dude. It's like six grand for the Hesselite. It's not cheap. A lot of money. Sure. Yeah. This is an expensive hobby, man. Yeah. It is not a fun hobby to be a part of because it is damn expensive. It's, it's got to hurt. All right. That's what someone once hurt. told me. It's got to hurt. <laughs> exactly, guys. Exactly. It does yeah, have to hurt. Do you remember the first time you bought a big watch? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Marco. Do you remember the first time you put down money for a big watch? And you're just like, what am I doing right now? This is crazy. Oh, uh, man. I got to tell you, my heart was pumping until I got that watch. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they just throw my, first, my pen I bought on Corona 24, so I was very nervous. Like, I mean, I gave a bank transfer and everything, so it's like, man, if that watch doesn't come in, I ain't getting my money back, you know? You did a bank transfer the first time you bought your watch? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's yeah, scary. so I was kind of nervous. We That's got Turkey scary. Vulture, 2 bucks. Tudor Ranger, 90.50 slash O versus a beat-up 10.16. A 1016 Explorer is this, goes for the same as a Tudor Ranger? No. No. No what way, right? What is he talking about? Yeah, no way. I mean, listen, if you're asking me which watch, I would definitely say 1016 all day. I mean, it's not even a question. Yeah, but um, how beat up is it? He says a beat up 1016. Yeah, I mean, like if it's beyond damage, like you can't even read the watch and you got to get it totally repaired from Rolex. And I mean, I'd probably still go for the 1016, just get it repaired by Rolex. And just right. get a brand new watch. No? Yeah, I would definitely just send be them. Be careful they don't swap hands and things like that. I mean, if it's if it's a few digs here and there, fine, no problem. Right. If it's yeah. operational, I would leave it if it's operational. Yeah, what do we think about that? There was a guy in our WhatsApp group, the regular WhatsApp group, who sent a picture of a, a, a what was it, a submariner, a Rolex submariner that he got at auction for like a thousand a thousand US, right? And it was totally beat up. Like everything was pretty much gonzos so he had to replace everything i told him why not just replace it make it into a restoration project are we against that like should we keep everything all original or oh, on a vintage watch like that he should send it to a specialist not rolex so they don't you know put all brand new parts in there you don't want to really you want to change as little as you have to but i mean that watch looked like it needed to be changed out like there was no fixing yeah half of the stuff on there so in that case I mean, I would, I would probably get it serviced by Rolex. Actually, those 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 Tudor Rangers are not cheap. Yeah, they're not cheap either. To be fair, Mister Grand, two pounds. Uh, Marco, if you get to five hundred dollars, will you do a Mohawk? <laughs> no, 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 no. It has to be a thousand bucks on the dot. On the dot. Viking so mullet, bro. A Viking mullet. Exactly. <laughs> no way. Listen, it's got to be a hundred bucks <laughs> on the dot. If it's not a hundred bucks, I am not shaving my head. 
And guys, right, no you're gonna push-ups. shave it for a hundred. Got it. I'm surprised. I haven't done any push-ups. <laughs> I expected push-ups, sit-ups, a finish up bu- Like, what is this, guys? Come on. Yeah. Everyone's relaxing tonight before the Super Bowl. You know, it's the calm yeah, before the. Everyone's song. gone shopping. Everyone's shopping for the Super Bowl. I'm pretty happy to be honest with you. I did not want to get totally wasted. I am very happy. Yeah. Who's playing again in the Super Bowl? I know we talked about this already, but who's playing? We got Tampa Bay and the Kansas City Chiefs. I ah. personally want Tom Brady to win. I got to go for my guy up in Tampa Bay. Yeah, that would be cool. What ring would this be? Eight? Seven. 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 Yeah. That'd be awesome. It's pretty cool. You know he's an IWC brand ambassador? Is he really? Know. Yeah, he's an IWC brand ambassador. He That's interesting. For, for Tag Hoyer. But then he became one for IWC. Leo is still like, Leonardo DiCaprio is still a tag ambassador. Did you guys know that? And and Cristiano Ronaldo. But the funny thing about going from tag to IWC is Lewis Hamilton's the same. He used really? to be Tag Heuer and now he's IWC. Yeah, probably because of the connection with Mercedes, though. Hmm. He drives Leo- for, drives for Mercedes. Leonardo DiCaprio has a deal with Tag Heuer where. Any movie he's in, he and he's wearing a watch, it has to be tag. So that's why in The Wolf of Wall Street, he wore like a gold plated tag Hoyer. And in Inception, he was wearing a Carrera. So anytime he's in a movie and he's wearing a watch, it has to be a tag. Mm. Is that crazy? Yeah. Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. Omega prices to the moon, unlike the watch. Yeah, I mean, the new moon watch is very, very, very expensive. So I don't know about all that. Ooh, we got ER coming on soon. How much are we up to? I don't know. We got to get an update from Showcase. Showcase yeah. is keeping tabs. So, Showcase, let me know in the WhatsApp group I'm looking. I think we're at like 340, probably. Something oh, like this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Come on, ER. Don't do this to me, man. Get, get us <laughs> to like $999 and then just stop there. Oh, that's funny. Oh, boy. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. I don't really love IWC. They're not. They're not the watch brand for me. Ooh. They're okay. I like the Showcase Portuguese. says 345 bucks, so we're about six hundred and six four fifty five dollars away. Oh, oh boy. boy, you're in trouble. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's definitely getting reached. A thousand bucks, no problem at all. Yeah, just oh, you got her. She said dollar wise. Yeah, so three hundred forty five bucks we're at at the moment, so we're only six hundred and forty five dollars away, or fifty five. Excuse me, six hundred fifty five. Yeah, Marco, so, I, I have a feeling you're going to be bald after this show, Marco. I'm definitely oh, going to be sure. bald. This is very there, bad. There, there's another five to add to the mix. <laughs> Brian BK, five bucks. We're going to keep you on your toes, Marco. Bless is he who expects nothing, for he shall never be disappointed. <laughs> there you go. There that you Daytona go. is so nice. Gold with the green yeah. face. So it's nice. Incredible. I mean, I hey, guy has Kudos to him for getting that watch because that was a hard to get watch, but he's had that kind of before the John Mayer hype. So I, I kind of respect that. And what did those retail? Hard. Yeah, he got it for retail. Yeah. Oh, wow. He didn't pay the piper. He's got he's got a lot of like hard to get mall. I'm pretty sure he's got like a, a GMT, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. a, Pepsi, a sub as well. He's got uh he's got one nomos that I know for sure. Cause uh Archie ripped him on his uh on his collection review. Yeah. For the nomos. but hey, it's it's still a uh, it's still a good watch. I can't uh, I can't fault fault nomos. They make a good watch. Very cool. So, are you excited about your potential Explore One? Man, I can't wait. Honestly, I just I just can't wait for all this to be done with. You know, COVID. That and as well, just to be finished with the whole wait for the Explorer. Ooh, we got ah. no more setup from Birmingham. Brian Allison, 10 bucks. I see a little red in the face. Drink up. Hey, thanks, man. Those Cheers. cheeks. Uh-oh. Eos saying you have to oh, shave no. it off. No, 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 no. said you have to shave it all off, not a number one. What is that? Well, what is that? What does it mean? Like, big? Like, no taking a big razor? Yeah, we're talking... Like oh. a zero, like a zero. You know? We're talking downstairs? Are we talk- Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. So you're you, gotta, a- you gotta go zero, like like go uh, private pile, you know? Marco, that's not gonna be a good look for you, dude. <laughs> it's gonna look... 
pretty see, American History Xy if you do that. So oh, I wouldn't do that, man. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Oh. I need a haircut anyway, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, sure. So yeah, you're in quarantine. Yeah, you're in quarantine. We, go. we got Danger Will Robinson, two bucks. Marco, start picking out a beanie hat. Yeah, it's, I'm definitely gonna need to wear a hat for the next week. That's for sure. At least one week. Oh boy. Yeah, I just can't wait, Lolex, until I get the Explorer. Yeah. This way I can just be done with this whole kind of waiting around. And I just want to get it, you know? Just want to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I waited over a year to get my sub. So I remember. I know what that's like. It sucks. Yeah, it, it sucks being in the dark. That, that's all it is. Yeah. At least, do you, so the AD that you're speaking with, do you... Like personally know the salesman that you're working with? Like have you spoken yeah, with so him? I haven't met him, but I've spoken with him through email over the yeah. phone. So it, it it looks promising. I mean, again, we'll see in yeah. practice versus uh in principle, you know? Yeah. I've had some I've had luck. I've had both. I've had a really shitty experience with AD and then I've had really good experiences with ADs. So it really just matters on who you deal with. Just got to sit and be patient. You got a thousand dollars in what currency? U.S. dollars. U.S. dollar Roonies. It's got to be a thousand U.S. Greenbacks. We're about 630 away, right? I believe. Yes, $630 away. Oh, boy. This is going to be the death of me. Now 625. (laughs) You want to see some shots or drinking straight from the bottle? Not from classy wine glass. All right, sure. Here you go. God, I don't. Gin is probably my least favorite alcohol. It's I hate gin. I'd rather drink yeah. warm vodka than gin. <laughs> it's not good when you drink it by itself. No, no, no way. I can't even. What do you drink gin with? Oh, it's like martinis, I guess. <laughs> er said, "Marco, you are toast." <laughs> <laughs> John Gold, two bucks. <laughs> Let's make Marco's head look like AC3's carpet. Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> That's just nasty <laughs> that is nasty and vicious, boys. Oh, boy. Hey, do oh. you plan on doing this yourself, or is your brother going to be uh, helping you? No, I mean, I got a clipper here. I got like a, a little setup here. I'll show you guys. I got a chair. So I'll just sit there and I'll put like the screen this way. And uh, yeah, I don't know how we're going to do your wardrobe. Yeah. What's up? Close the wardrobe, otherwise you're going to get bits. Close your wardrobe, otherwise bits of hair are going to go flying in yeah, and yeah. mess I got, up I your shirt. I got a vacuum ready <laughs> and waiting for it, to be honest with you. We got Joe Kramer. Put newspaper five, down. or. Oh, it's fine. Honestly, I just passed the vacuum. It's not a big deal. We got Joe Kramer, five bucks. Any, of, any one of you need a speedy hauler? If you hear me, my ID has one for 4,500 use. There you go. There you go guys. Message, very taller, so but yeah, very white of you. Um, <laughs> one eight six one. Why not? That'd be cool. Message Joe Kramer. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. I, I got to tell you, I really wanted my Pam, my Explorer One, and a Speedmaster as the backbone of my collection. But man, I've just fallen for the Rolex with a Pepsi aluminum bezel, Rolex sixteen seven hundred or the sixteen seven ten. Either or is a great model. Let me just share my screen. I this think a speedy, everybody should have a speedy at one point in their watch collection. Yeah, sure. don't get me wrong. I definitely want to get mm. one at some point. But personally, I got to tell you guys, these, the 16710, and especially the 16700, I love to get a birth year one from 1999, which is my birth year. I think these are just gorgeous. Look at these. I mean, yeah. I just, the bracelet's the only thing that loses it for me. Yeah, it's the only it's the only thing you can really knock is the vintage style bracelet. We've got Kryptonite Frog, two bucks, haircut by Carpet Beal. Yeah. Yeah. we got a J, $100 check. Uh, thoughts on Cana- uh, Canadians were better drinkers? Want to see a, see a real ship? Man, come on, guys. These are like, uh, this is disgusting to drink this out of the bottle. you got to mix it yeah, with Yeah, don't something. Canadians drink like Crown Royal? Marco, uh, ERs ask you, are you going to shave it all off? She wants confirmation. Oh, we just got to. We are 500 away officially. CB just dropped 100 bucks. We are 500 away. ER, halfway there. 
if he doesn't do it, I will fly to Vancouver and take it off for him. He's not. He's not in Vancouver though. Oh, he's not. <laughs> no, he's he's in, in Montreal. Well, I'll show up both both places and find him. CB, I'll figure it out. Bucks. Marco, you're lucky I have to go to dinner, but I'm confirming the we are. Oh, Marco, Marco, she wants com- confirmation. Are you going to shave it bald with the zero? Shaving it all off, man. I really did not want to go bald tonight, guys. That was not the plan. Okay, it was <laughs> a number one. That was the plan, but uh fine. For, I'll do it for ER. Oh, he said I'll do it. Listen, <laughs> we're 500 away in total, so. <laughs> Guys, let's help out ER. Don't put it all on her. That's not. All right, guys. It's got to be a group clear, effort. Uh, the clip it's is getting off. close, guys. The clip is off. See, it's just a bear. Oh, oh there's another no, hundred. Now no. we're four hundred oh, away. No. Four hundred <laughs> away. Showcase. Can you confirm no. showcase? We're four hundred away. What do we got? Yeah. Showcase, oh, please. I feel like oh. we're closer. No, guys, come on, man. Three ninety-five with Jeb. I don't. Jeb, I gotta. Uh, I gotta uh, confirm with with uh with showcase though. We don't know for sure. Oh, man, you guys are definitely going to make me want to yuck. Man, drinking Bombay just straight is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, buddy, why don't you get something like a Jägermeister? There we go. We are, we, are, we are $395 away, everybody. $395 away. We're in the home stretch now. Marco, you better warm those buzzers up, man. Better plug Whoa. it in, juice it up. You don't want to have a half oh, haircut. No, I don't want to do this, guys. I do not want to do this. What's the shortest you've ever cut your hair, Marco? Well, oh, okay. I <laughs> Why is I'm asking? Why not? I've pretty much bald, so it's all good. Oh my goodness! Listen, the haircut fun, Marco. Oh, oh my God. God, we three ninety away, three ninety away. Oh, Marco, God. just think of it like this: it's like a fresh start, you know? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind short hair, to be honest. I really do not mind. I want to do a couple guys. push-ups. Can someone super chat some push-ups, guys? Come on. Yeah, get, get your money's worth, guys. So, JJ, what are we at again? ER wants to know. We got I think what? we're at 380 or 390. Oh, now we're down to 360. 390. We need about 360. Cheers, Brian. Cheers. Showcase has to confirm, but I think James we're said Brian 395 out. away. James no, said not, 395. Yeah but, yeah, but now Brian just yeah, gave but a lot of and Mark just gave five. Excuse I think we're about 360 away if we had a... Now Jesus three... Christ. Okay, red shovel. It's coming. Red yeah. shovel, five euros. Got the seed well of 43, 43 two tone. And what's DS? D- deep sea. Oh, deep sea black. Do I mm-hmm. sell a PAM 422 and Tudor Black Bay bronze to buy more Rolex, namely the James Cameron? Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, technically speaking. Ooh. There you go. Showcase watches 630 so far. Personally, I would say 100% because. I think that the Tudor Black Bay Bronze, I mean, how long can you really own that watch? A bronze case will eventually turn green. And then once it turns green, it's totally worthless because you can't actually wear the thing. I personally would never buy a bronze case, so I would get rid of it just off of that principle. Right. I don't know what the PAM 422 is. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it and, up. and one other thing, I don't know if you guys notice about bronze, but it, it, it does develop a smell to it. A weird yeah. smell. Very true. Some people don't mind it, but some people, it drives them crazy. I oh, and boy. I really liked those Tudor bronze, ba- John, Black Bay bronze two bucks. Suggestion: shave the hairline to look like AC threes. And Jeb, yeah, ten bucks. Shaving fun. There we go, guys. There we go. Right, we're hey, about three fifty away. When you shave your head, can you do the George Costanza? Ah, there's another oh. hundred CB with two fifty away. Two hundred fifty <laughs> bucks away from. Here we go. We get. I want that pretty head shaved when I am done with this. No way, dude. ER, you're shaving your head. ER is going to literally cover. The I, 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 you're I, I, shaving with, your head. ER, we're about two fifty, two sixty away. Something. So like Marco, that. when you shave your head, do the George Costanza. Oh, 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 this and oh, then leave oh, the oh, horse shit for away. <laughs> two forty, and Marco is bald. Two forty oh, more. Body. Oh, cheers, Nate. We'll say two fifty for good measure, just to make sure. We're about 250 away. Type down how much, please. Can someone type it in the chat? How yeah, much I is got, left? I got oh, 250. <laughs> so the PAM 422, let's just pull this big boy up. Let's just pull this big boy up. Listen, it's a gorgeous watch. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of in house Panerai, so I'll tell you that. Um, if it were me, if you're asking my opinion, I'm just going to let me just pull up his, uh, his super chat. Trying a red shovel. 
So would he trade a PAM 422 and the Tudor Black Bay Bronze to buy more Rolex than James Cameron? I mean, listen, you've got two Sea Dwellers. You've got the Sea Dweller 43, the Deep Sea in Black. You want to get the James Cameron? I think pull the trigger. <laughs> oh, buddy. It's yeah. over. You're dead, man. Do oh, it's over, buddy. No, that's, oh, that's Australian cool. dollars, yeah? Yeah, but we still, we still broke it with the other guys. Because it was 240 and you got another it's like 10. There's 230. Oh, showcase just said right, 395. Right, about four minutes. Right, let's do this. Oh. Red Shovel, we got. So, Red Shovel, I definitely say get rid of the 422 and the Tudor Black Bay Bronze and get the James, James Cameron. We got a horological Freddy Krueger. Here's two bucks. <laughs> Shave your pubes and send them to <laughs> But just spread five bucks. You can do it. And then we got an ER. 200 and there we go. There we go. Oh, let's give her a round of applause. Yeah, Thank you, you ER. You are the best. You make our dreams come true. Shame wow, Arch, another thousand dollars. Okay, right. great. So let's do this. Go get in your chair. I don't know how I do this, guys. Hold on. Let me know if this is okay. Let me pull up my chair. Oh, this is good. Closer. <clears throat> yeah. Close. <laughs> yeah, 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 closer. You gotta see. So what are we doing? Are we Look doing in the like camera. The middle, are we doing yeah, straight down the middle. Just straight down ball, the middle. Ball the top. Like a George Costanza, like, yeah, like an old on man. the top, leave <laughs> yeah. the sides, and yeah. then then we work on the sides. And then we work on the sides. That's that's yeah. the safest way. There you go, buddy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, my oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, my god go, dude! Marco. Fantastic. <laughs> Watch it. His mom's gonna come in the room right now and go berserk. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you serious? <laughs> we have church tomorrow. <laughs> You're in trouble, Marco. Oh my God, this no, is dude, great. looks good. Looks good. Yeah, it really suits you. Keep going. You don't have to be nice, okay, guys. Move, move some of the hair out of the way. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Hold on, I gotta shave it off first. Oh, buddy, you'll need someone to help you with the back <laughs> and the sides. All right, we got. Uh, well, Marco, nice little, that nice little chunk on the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is not going to end well. Yes, I agree. It's definitely not going to end well. What the hell is this, guys? You guys are supposed to have my back. Man, uh -huh. I got to tell you, this feels very light and airy. Keep going, buddy. <laughs> Marco, you wake I up in the morning. I hope somebody You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. That's it. You don't have to comb it. Please, somebody screenshot these. <laughs> Kryptonite <laughs> frog. Great. Now he has to go to the AD like that. That's excellent. What what is what is up with that little chunk you have in the front there? <laughs> it's so yeah, weird. Yeah, I can't see what I'm doing, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, my frog, two bucks. Great. Now he has to go to the AD like that. Yeah, hundred percent. Guys, you were supposed to have my back. What is this? Come on, you got exactly what you there want. You there you go. Oh, you're hitting it perfect. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Bud the stud, five dollars. How much to leave it like it is now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <hold on. laughs> How much to leave it like it is now? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are like, we got Renal five bucks. This is harder to watch than the Don's car videos. Is... Jeez, how, how can I be part of the audio video? Oh boy. This is great. Oh my god. So while Marco is shaving his head, what uh, new watches are you guys interested in getting? <laughs> Who's thinking about watches right now? Dude, what are you buying? What are you buying? What have you got your eye on? What are you buying? Oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my you gotta, god! You gotta get that little chunk in the front. Yep, right there to yeah. the left, a little bit more. Wait, hold on. We got more snow. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Your mom is gonna kill you, Marco. Oh my god! This is great. Buddy. Yeah, right there, right there, there right there. Go. Oh, to no, the right, right, to the right. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. God, that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the Italian for they made me do it. Stratitura. <laughs> Whatever he says. <laughs> You're in trouble. I feel like I'm watching a live leak video. Like I'm not supposed to be watching this right now. <laughs> That's actually George Costanza right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect, dude. There you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're He's went from tw 20 no to more. 40. No more. 
Oh, no, my goodness. goodness. You gotta keep the camera on, dude. Yeah. How are you gonna explain this to my mom? I have no idea. Oh, Just she'll figure it out. She'll can, see can we see a little bit of it, Marco? The finished you product? Just dead. You won't be pulling any tricks for a while. There you go. <laughs> oh, come on. Bald is beautiful. Let's yeah. see this. That's not that bad. It's kind of cool. It's kind of hipster. I feel like bald pretty well. To be honest with you, yeah. I'm kind of happy. My hair was way too long, but it's very strong. <laughs> And Marco, you, you, you just said to yourself, if you ever lose your hair one day, at least you know you'll look good bald. That's cool. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> somebody wrote somebody Marco Haynes. <laughs> My mom's going to She's going to be so mad, guys. It's not even funny. Is she really? Is oh, she going to yeah. be like, you can't go on the stream anymore? Yeah, yeah, you're going to get punished. Like, no, we, do you still, no, you don't get punished anymore, right? I can't be. Love the monk look, Marco. Oh, that's great. All right, guys. That's all you're getting. I'm turning off the camera for the rest of the stream. Cheers, boys. No, okay. I'll be right back. Hold on. No, you you promised them a baldy, Marco. You got to do it. What do you mean? It is bald. Look, I, I think... should my head. How am I supposed to get the rest of this? Just do it. Just up the it. sides. Man, this is like so up the sides next. How the hell am I supposed to get this? You'll get used you, to it. You can do the sides easy. You know, that's easy. It's right now. Yeah, unless you've done it before, it's very difficult. It's difficult at first. There you go. Sure, go go with the grain. Yeah, go the other way, you maniac. What are you doing? <laughs> you gonna... <laughs> Marco, oh, yeah. Marco looks like you're going the wrong way, guy. Now, you're gonna... well, like, on, right, now you start yeah, from yeah. now you start from the bottom of your neck and you curve upwards towards yeah. your forehead. Yeah, Kid I Johnson. cut my own hair too, so I know how that. Kid Johnson, six bucks. Love that <laughs> monk look, Marco. There you go, Mark P, five pounds. Keep the hair on the sides in a picture of you in 50 years. There you go. There you go. We mark uh, Danger Marco. Will Robinson, five bucks. You know the samurai looks not so bad. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, I've had like. Marco. It's just my hair is in my head. Is in the face. But Marco, actually, they don't look that bad with the bald head. I got Marco, tell you. put your camera full screen so I can take a photo for the group chat. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> Give us a smile. And a, and maybe a thumbs up. That's all you're that is all you're getting. No, oh, that's so funny. I was just doing the same thing that you said, uh, Lolex. As you were saying it, I was doing that. <laughs> Perfect. It's okay, for a good cause, Marco. Oh, There's rules, dude. It's for a good cause. Did I miss a super chat? Hold on, let me double check. Yep, you should probably have some drinks. What is the super chat? Oh. Kryptonite Frog, two bucks. Told you I paid internet for this. There you go, man. Oh, turkey vulture, five bucks. You're gonna need to buy a wig to buy your explorer now. Nah, it's all good, man. I think we missed a super chat from someone. Kermit. This one? Nah, uh -huh. I just did it. I just did it. Oh, okay. Now okay. five bucks is harder to watch than Don's carbon beetles. Oh, we already did that. All right, perfect. I think we're all caught up. We just got these ones. My GMT, two bucks, an extra five dollars for the brows. No way, I'm shaving my eyebrows. You will never get my eyebrows off of me. <laughs> just but a no, line, like a bucks. like a vanilla ice line through it. Not even like, like a Jason no Momoa at all whatsoever. Oh my guys, God. How, John O. Hello, Uncle Fester. There you go. Guys, how are we going to top this one for next stream? Marco went fully bald. <laughs> how do you go from next, there? Next stream, next stream, he shaves his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, there's no chance. No one eyebrow, just, just one eyebrow. Yeah. Marco, you got a super chat, Marco. Hold on. Nate, oh, eight bucks. Marco, you've gone. From waiting a couple of months to sorry kid, five year wait list for the <laughs> There you go. Call the hat, dude. Um, yeah, 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 who's next? Hey, I just want to say thanks to everybody, especially ER for coming to Clutch Thank again. You, ER. And C B coming in huge too. Yeah, C B. All all you guys you, we did it in under the hour and thirty minute live stream we were gonna do anyway. So unbelievable. That's I great. cannot believe you guys I are amazing. Right. It's <laughs> the punchers. It's the punchers out there. We love you guys. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Marco, your mom is going to hit you so hard. Keep going. <laughs> You're going to get beat so bad. Yeah, I think that, that should be the next one. Next one, show us how your mom just beat you senseless. Guys, and we'll stream that. Oh, next. Channel, watch Cardinal. Hey, if I'm doing this, I better get some freaking <laughs> subscribers, okay? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There you go, guys. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to see your next thumbnail when you're bald when you're doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely wearing a hat. And don't forget. Best watch guys. for a bald guy. 
Of course, the other the other good fellas, showcase watches. Let's get them to three K subs if we can. Love you, showcase. Bear, Bear Clooney watches. Bear Clooney again. Congratulations to Bear. Ten point one K subscribers. Big congratulations. Love and of course, Bear. how can we forget the one and only Tim Wright, who couldn't join us tonight, but is in our hearts and minds at eight hundred one subscribers. Yeah, Let's try and get him to 1,000, guys. Let's try and get him to 1,000. And everybody Tim kept, kept three bucks. Too, man. Five, three, He's kept count for us tonight. <laughs> wow. Oh, I cannot believe I am bald, guys. This is kind of depressing. Keep I've been going. in my head for like the past two minutes, and it feels very strange. I don't know what to think. It's actually, okay. it's actually really refreshing. In a few days, you're going to get used to it. You'll feel really fresh. It'll grow, I, dude. It'll be back by next you week. See it? Jobs double. And it'll grow Actually, stronger. Guys, I don't even. I'm oh, not, I'm not at all. <laughs> I can tell him to come in inside and shave the rest. Of My hair doesn't. It doesn't look that bad because I still have a good hairline. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It'll it's, grow it's in. It's gonna grow stronger. It's yeah. gonna grow back stronger. Is that like a sumo wrestler style? Is there hair in the back? <laughs> yeah, he looks like a woman <laughs> right now. I gotta shave yeah. the rest of it. It's just I can't get to it, you know. Now you just feel it like that, and then you. You go around to figure it out. You can um, leave it like sumo. <laughs> Just yeah, keep 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 it in the back. Sure. Yeah, and then gr do a little ponytail. A little rat tail. Have a ponytail That's back there. A little no? rat tail. Do that rules. Get a jean jacket, <laughs> some Oakleys. The Canadian Marco tuxedo. Will. Dude, he will rule, dude. <laughs> Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> if, if bowling alleys were still open, Marco would <laughs> so hard. We got showcase watches, two pounds. Marco, call your mom so we can see the reaction. Yeah, ask 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 her to come in. And, yeah, Dude. leave the camera on. Leave the camera on. Turn down the speakers and just ask her to come in and uh, and finish it up. Bro, you should. Gonna, she, I don't want to touch hear it up for you. You should stay what showcase said. You should say I was I was trimming my hair and I think I overdid it. Say I tripped and fell on some clippers. That's what I would say. Guys, look at this. This is how much hair I shaved off already. Look at this. Dang. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Nice. But there's still some on the floor. That's the worst part. It looks like a little Pomeranian in your hand. I don't know how I'm gonna take, it, take a picture of it with the hair in the back, just just to have it. Sure. <laughs> Marco, please, Marco, please come in the Power Rangers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. And Brandon Grabal, take a drink so you have an excuse. All right, dude. Cheers. Here you go, man. Oh, wait, my camera isn't on. There you go. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mom, I drank too much and shaved my head. Well, wh wait a minute. Actually, honestly, Is I got you getting drunk this? after removing the hair. I actually don't mind being bald. I actually didn't, couldn't care less. I've been bald many times before, so it's not a big deal. It's just a little weird. Very strange. Wait until you hit 50. Yeah, you the ball all the time. Very, very strange, guys. Very strange. We got a couple super right, chats here. Right in now, also, let, let's see it. Yeah, let's see what mine next. What do you think? <laughs> Should I shave it? Oh, it looks great. Yeah, dude. It looks cool. Right. Let's, gonna, the rest of it. let's all What's shave right? our heads in solidarity, guys. Let's do it. <clears throat> all right, guys. I think we're going to wrap the show up on that. What do we think? What do we think, guys? It's a good, good way to go out. <laughs> it's been a hell of a show. We raised over a thousand bucks. Mr. Grand, two euros. Next AC3 vid. Did I make <laughs> <laughs> I'm all good, guys. Okay. Marco unemployed vlogs. Hey, that's good. Two bucks. Donate so Marco homeless vlogs. Patients. Donate here to cancer patients. I mean, I yeah. There's I nothing that I can do with that. I, I think you can actually donate your hair. You should consider that. That'd be cool. Yeah, I could. That's not how I idea. thought they liked the longer. Yeah, hair, I think they usually but... want six inches or more. Yeah, they just... could be wrong. <laughs> There's no girl that wants like just like hair like right here. That'd be funny. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this show up. Wrap we're it up. Wrap it up. Love the show. I have no hair left. I have no Dude, hair. Dude, yours left. coming for your eyebrows so hard. Yeah, thanks, CB. Thanks, ER. <laughs> She's coming, that dude. Awesome. You're done, bud. <laughs> You're done. You're done, though. <laughs> One at a time. Just no way. I'm not doing my We'll figure. We'll figure something else. Two thousand dollars. I think two thousand dollars. They'll grow back. 
Guys, I got to shave the rest of my head. Okay, I got to shave the rest of my head. We're going to do an after show probably on Tim Wright's live stream on YouTube. Tim Wright. If you haven't subscribed to me already, okay, guys, I'm going to do a shameless plug. Shameless plug <laughs> because I think I've earned this. I think I've earned this. Let me just do this. Hold on one second. If you haven't subscribed to me already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Watch Cardinal. I post vids there at a frequency of about two two to four videos a week. I try to do it depending, obviously, on school. We got Toyota Mo three bucks. Marco Baldin single vlogs coming soon. There you go, guys. Yes. We're gonna wrap this show up on that, guys. I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you to everyone who participated. All the good fellows, ABC Doc, of course, our regulars JJ and Lolex and Burbinghart. Thank you guys all for coming. We raised over a thousand bucks for the pawn. Glad, or excuse me, for Archie. I'm glad we can say, dude. <laughs> That's all right. Um, We've had some good crew out of it. We we're that all getting kicked off. off. And, uh, Guys, we're wrapping this show up. Thanks again for coming, all of you. And thanks for being in the chat. And, of course, thanks to all the donations from everybody. Take care, guys. Thanks, yeah. gentlemen. Just like, thanks, subscribe, guys. and tell your friends. Exactly. Like, subscribe, and tell your Fikewood friends, guys. Cheers. Take it easy.